Hi, so today I started drawing digitally a few um, days ago, and so I decided to just show you guys um, me just drawing a few things digitally. Uh, here um, I'm drawing like my sketch, and I really like drawing digitally now. Like, I didn't at first I thought it was really hard, and then I tried a different app, and it was really nice and easy, so. I love to draw digitally now. Um, this, I usually draw with my friend, and we have a lot of fun doing it, so I really enjoy talking to her so I'm not like alone the whole time. Um, this, I'm drawing like a pop star, I think. I was gonna draw like a teenager, but I didn't really have many ideas, so it looks like a teenager when I'm done, but it's like a pop star teenager. Um, I'm really happy with how all of these turned out. Uh, um, a lot of people, I, wa I wonder when I watch people drawing digitally, like, what app do they use? And so I'm just going to tell you guys, I use IBS Paint. It's really nice. Um, and I really like the way it works. And I am so happy there are layers because I, I use layers a lot. So I'm happy with that too. But yeah, if you are looking for a drawing app for beginners, it's super easy. IBS Paint X um, is free and then IBS Paint is expensive. <laughs> Not expensive, but like you have to pay for it. So, But this IBS Paint X is free. So if you want a digital app, you can go ahead and check that out. Here I'm doing all my shading and blending it is so fun to shade digitally, guys. I just love it. I don't I don't know why. It's just so satisfying. I use a blur tool and you just blur it out. <laughs> and just it's so fun to do for me. Um I don't really know what like inspired any of these. Um I know for some of them I randomly draw out of a bin some ideas that me and my friend made because she draws with me too but that's for the future ones this one I just doodled on my own like with her but on my own <laughs> yeah and so that's the first one um this next one that I did I am so proud of uh so I did a challenge for this one with my friend she did it too and um I did uh using only warm colors so that was really hard for me to do this one because I don't really use, usually do this pose. And I made it like coming from the back. Uh, the light source was coming from the back. So it, I had to make it look like she was lit up from the back. But that's that's the thing about digital art. You can like do it um, easily. You can, it's easy to shade with digital art. And it's easy, like it's harder to make the shape but it's easy to like color and blend because of all the tools that they are there are that you don't always have in like actual in the actual world um of drawing but uh yeah so uh i made it kind of look like she was like fiery hair sort of and um i i realized when i was outlining that um black is a cool color <laughs> And I can't use any of those, so I outlined with a dark brown, which I actually ended up going in with black for the eyes because I needed, I need black for the eyes. I, I just can't have it brown, and then I wanted to have, like, the darker skin because I don't always do that, and I just had to make the eyes black. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, as you can see, I'm, like, trying to light up the hair from behind, and trying to make it look darker in the front so it looks more like lit up from the back. And I really like the color that I did for the hair. I actually got the idea from my friend. She showed me her drawing and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna use that hairstyle and the color that you did for that hair. I love that, not the hairstyle, but just the color. And I love it. It is like, this is, I'm so proud of this. Because I never really do, like, a light source coming from the back. I always do, like, the front or the top or something easy. But I'm really happy with how this one turned out. So, yeah, here it is. And here is my last one for this video. This is um, base, another challenge. This is based off of an object. So I chose a gumball machine. 
because I thought that would be really cute. So I actually, I love this one too. But um, I made the lines very thick, so they're very pixelated. When you're done with it, you can just see. And I actually, I really love this one. I have no complaints. I think it's really cute how it turned out with all the colors. I love how I wrote insert 25 cents on the outfit just to make it look more like a gumball machine. I tried to make the hat look like a lid of a gumball machine, but now it just looks kind of strange. Um, I really like this one. I don't know what to say. I don't have a script and I, I'm too lazy to make one. So I'm just gonna say I love this drawing. Um, yeah, I'm proud. I found out how to flip in this drawing, how to flip my canvas, which was kind of helpful to for me to see like how to see if I had good proportions on her and whatever. Um, this shading on here was good. The insert twenty five cents looks like metallic, and that that just made me proud because I never do that. I really like the colors that I chose for the gumballs too, so I'm proud with this one. Here it is. So here is actually my first digital art that I did that was actually successful. And um, this one I made like a few days ago. So I have made a lot of digital art in the time. Like, And I just want to say for each drawing, it takes me two to five hours for each drawing. So I spend a lot of time and work and I put a lot of effort into these drawings so I hope you enjoy them and I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and if you want any videos like this or just have any ideas for videos make sure to comment them down below and I hope you have a good day. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!